signals and systems for second year students of UG ENTC. The contents are definition of signal, examples of signals, classification of signals and some elementary signals. Definition of a signal. How do we define a signal? A signal is said to be as function of independent variable which is carrying some information. Also we can define a signal as a physical quantity which varies with some independent variables such as time, space and any other. Similarly in this case we can see that independent variables are time and space and the dependent variables are the variables which are said to be as physical quantities. Amplitude, power, voltage, current, temperature are said to be as dependent variables. Now there are some examples of signals listed over here. Audio, video, speech, image. These are very basic signals which we can use in our day to day life. Also a pH signal which is measured by a pH medical meter is known as a signal. ECG, data, barcode and a humidity can also be treated as signals. The classification of signals is based on the property of a signal. There are various classifications of signals such as continuous time signal, discrete time signals, analog digital signals, periodic, a periodic signals, even and odd signals, deterministic and random signals, energy and power signals and causal and non-causal signals. We are going to see all of these classifications one by one for their definition and some examples. First category is CTS and DTS signal. Continuous time signal is defined as a signal which is present for every instant of time which is represented as X of T. X is a variable present for every instant of time. A signal of continuous amplitude and time is also known as CTS. Examples are speech, video, temperature, ECG, etc. Where when we want to draw a continuous time signal, we have to draw X axis representing an independent variable as T and Y axis representing a dependent variable X of T. Here we have drawn a signal which is present for every instant of time. Therefore, we can say that it is a CTS signal. DTS signal. A DTS signal is represented as X of N and said to be as a signal present for some instance of time only and are undefined for some other instance. The representation is X of N. X is a variable, N is the time instant. Examples are blood samples, stock market signal and other example as the amount deposited in a saving account per month. So we can represent this X of N as on X axis we take N and on Y axis we take X of N, a variable which is dependent on time. The sketch of DTS signal. We are going to draw a X of sig N signal which is said to be as a discrete time signal which is always represented as some discrete values, a collection of discrete values and that is representing a origin value. An arrow indicates the value which is present for origin. So here the origin value is 5 and to the right of it the values are at some instant 1, 2, 3 and on the left hand side the instants are minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. So here we have drawn the signal at origin the signal value is 5 then at 1 is 0 then at 2 it is 4 at 3 it is 1. At minus 1 it is 3, minus 2 it is 2 and minus 1 it is 1. So this is how we can draw a discrete time signal. Another category is analog signal. Analog signal is a signal which is varying continuously within a range and takes any value out of the infinite number of values within that range at any each instant of time. Analog signals can be the real quantity such as voice signal. A digital signal is a sequence of discrete values. Periodic signal. A signal is said to be periodic when it is represented as X of T which is equal to X of T plus capital T 
and in discrete domain it is x of n which is equal to x of n plus capital N. That means a signal is repeating itself after a period of t or after the n samples. A periodic signal which do not satisfy the category, category of periodicity. So x of t is not equal to x of t plus capital T means a signal which is present only for some duration but it do not repeat itself. So this is one example to calculate or say whether a signal is periodic or a periodic. That means we are going to find out its periodicity. So x of t is given as 4 sin 100t which can be equivalent to x of t is equal to a sin omega t which is a generalized equation of any sinusoidal signal. So here omega indicates the angular frequency which is equal to 100 over here which is normally found out as 2 pi f given as this. Now from this equation we can find out its frequency that means the frequency of a signal which is equal to 100 by 2 pi right now. Then we can find out its period. A period of a signal can be found out by t is equal to pi upon 100 where pi is the value which is normally represented by 22 by 7 and if we put this value into this t we get the value as t is equal to 22 by 350. Now here is one condition we are going to specify where the signal can be said to be as periodic or periodic. If the found out value of t is a ratio of integers then we call this signal as periodic. Therefore at conclusion we can define a periodic signal as a signal whose time period is a ratio of integers and it is a rational number. A CTS-DTS signal can be shown separately so that we can see how we represent a x of t which is said to be a CTS periodic signal and x of n which is said to be a discrete time signal periodic. Now other category of signal is even signal and odd signal. What is even signal? A signal x of t is said to be as even signal when it satisfies a condition as x of t is equal to x of minus t. That means the x of t on the right hand side values is equal to the x of minus t on the left hand side which is said to be as a vertically symmetrical signal. Now odd signal. The signal is said to be odd when its condition is satisfied as x of t is equal to minus x of minus t. So x of t is equal to minus x of minus t. So this is odd signal. Now finding out even and odd parts of any given function. So we have even part which can be found out as let us consider any signal given as g of t then we can find out its even part as g of t plus g of minus t upon 2 odd part we can find out as g of t minus g of minus t upon 2. If a signal or a function is said to be as even then it is having a zero odd function and if a function is said to be as odd then then we can have zero even part. We can find out the even and odd components of the given signal for this exercises in the class. Now one of the example is solved over here where we have taken a continuous time signal x of t as u of t which is defined as a unit step function drawn as like this. Now we want to find out its even and odd parts. How do we find out the even and odd parts? In the previous case we have written one example and equation where even part can be found out as g of t plus g of t minus t upon 2. So therefore we have drawn a g of minus t that means u of minus t. Then we have added these two parts. This is right hand side, left hand side we have added and we have divided by 2. Therefore we get 2. Then similarly we can draw odd part. So this part is right hand side, this part is left hand side and divided by 2 gives you 0.5. Similarly we have drawn u of t minus u of 
minus t and divided by 2. So it gives you odd part of a signal. Now we will see the products of even and odd functions. So if there are two functions which can be even or odd, then if we multiply these two functions, then what will be the product? If a signal given or a function given is even and another is also even, that means there are two even functions, then the product happens to be even only. If one of the function is even, the other function is odd, then the product is odd. If there are two odd functions, then the product becomes even. The other category is deterministic and random signal. A signal is said to be as deterministic when it is expressed in terms of mathematical equation such as example over here which is also defined as a signal which is known for every instant of time and it is predictable. The random signal can be defined as a signal whose value is unpredictable at every instant of time. Also it cannot be expressed mathematically. Example is noise. The other category is energy and power signal. A signal is said to be as energy and power signal when it has got finite energy and finite power respectively. Energy signal is said to be as energy signal when his va the value of a signal is finite energy. A signal with finite signal energy is called as energy signal. The signal with finite power and infinite energy is known as power signal. Then all non-periodic signals are examples of energy signals. All periodic signals are the examples of power signals. We can find out their power using these equations. The power signals, we can find out whether a signal is energy or a power signal using this exercise. First find out the energy of a given signal using this formula and if the value comes out to be finite then we say that a signal is energy signal. If the value of this energy comes out to be infinite then we can say that this signal is not energy signal. We have to check for its power signal condition. So, the other last category which is defined as causal and non-causal. Causal means a signal which is category satisfied as x of t which is equal to 0 for t less than 0. That means signal present on right hand side of a origin and a signal which is not satisfying this criteria or say x of t is not 0 for t less than 0 then we can say that it is non-causal. We can find out the causal and non-causal condition of these two signals in the class. Thank you.